Welcome guys to episode two of Model Only, Unranked to Diamond. We did our, we finally did our matches. We are absolutely ready to play some ranked. So we hopped straight in and ladies and gentlemen, uh, it did not go how I expected it to go. Oh my goodness. First game of ranked and we don't have a third. That is, I could not have started this any better. This is beautiful. And you know, it was beautiful because that means that we were going to have to play extremely smart, or at least try to play as smart as possible, uh, seeing that there's only two of us. Now, if the enemy teams are playing how they should, they would just jump us every time that we get a cash out. So my thought process was that we would have to third party. And third party we did. Just hold heal. Huge. Uh... Round one, we we're able to secure one of the 10Ks, and then later on in the round, we were able to grab the 15 and deposit it. This brought us over to 16K, which is a solid place to be, but we needed to hold down and cash out D, or else we're getting knocked out. The whole different team keeps fighting them. Okay. Got to the point where, again, Topi is going to be missing his shots. However, our teammate was able to finish him off with the remaining damage. Uh, we're both up at this point. Just trying to get the heal on each other. I see that there's an enemy. I tried pinging, but instead it came up as defending. We did get the defib off. However, since he was out there, he was going to be dead. And it was just me chilling on cash out D. And it's a death trap in here? No, we're fine here, actually. I'm just gonna, sorry bro, I'm gonna hold out for a second. Missed my shots again, but it didn't matter because we wiped before and there was no time for them to steal cash out D. So for the reigning part of the match, we just decided to throw the cash out, play a nice little catching game. And we were on to round two, baby. Round two was a little bit more difficult. Obviously the teams here were a little more coordinated than before, or at least have a little bit more, uh, you know, better aim than the previous teams since it's round two. Uh, we were kind of jumped and there's a lot of different places that they could get us from or could pop up from. So classic Topi missing with the model. Uh, we got knocked out there. Uh, teammate did get a pick, but in the end, uh, you know, it, it was an unfortunate uh, team wipe. And we weren't able to get A and B was pretty close by the time we got there and were able to wipe the team, it probably wasn't going to be enough time to steal, so we decided to go for the 15Ks. I'd also like to say sorry that there's no in-game audio. Uh, I hope the music will suffice uh, because my OBS was being weird and it was on streaming settings versus my recording settings, but either way, we killed that guy, and then we ran in like a weirdo against a heavy and was able to, you know, absolutely destroyed however we were able to take out the heavy and secure vault 3 into cash out d and now where cash out d is it was kind of a situation like cash out a didn't really know how to hold it but it didn't matter because uh they didn't come here the whole time it's a team of two could have fought us in one but uh they did so kind of like round one we went over to cash out five held it down, and we qualified into round three. I guess in this rank where we are, which is like bronze, silver, it's less of, like, anybody can aim. It's all about the game sense. Like, everybody here is average aiming, right? Because they're playing competitive. Some of them just completely miss. Like me. But others, they can use shots. It's just they're kind of dumb when it comes to how to play the game, like, actually. So as long as we outbrain them, we're going to win. Final round, not too sure, because 2v3, you know, and limited range for me. So that's something to keep into consideration. However, round three, getting to the final round, definitely a possibility. And although we were playing much smarter than the enemy teams, since we were a, man, a team of two and we're moving on to round three, knockout round three was a little bit different. Are you kidding me? How does that... How? How? Whoa. Just hit the fibby. Just hit the fibby, bro. Just hit the fibby. The door is closed, bro. 
Just hit the fibby. <laughs> See, knockout round three, we're in a position where uh, we couldn't really get our footing, you know? We, we couldn't really get to a point where uh, we were the team that was on top. We Each time we went to a cash out, we got wiped. Uh, one of us would be up, one of us would be down. We're able to get uh, Cash Child put it into C, and once again, there were no third or first parties, uh, so we we're pretty fine, but that money was not going to take us to the final round, and sadly, we got knocked out. Now, as for the second game, that one was totally different. I got paired up with two heavies, Crazy Effort and Windigo, and it was a much easier match than the one that I had before. Not only that I now have another teammate, a full team of three, but it was two heavies. And if you guys play the finals, then you definitely know that double heavies, it's kind of broken, especially when paired with a medium who knows how to use heal beam and when to use heal beam. So it was a situation of us kind of just running at them and winning. And it honestly got to the point where they weren't even really challenging us whatsoever. Like, we would get a few stragglers here and there trying to get the steal, but after the first cash out, there wasn't really much for us to do. Hello, that's a whole new team. I mean, we got tripped up at Volt 3, but that was only for a second. I mean, engaging while well with low health, and that shot shouldn't have missed, but um, defibbing in the opening of an enemy team, it was, you know, they weren't really coordinated or playing with each other, so it gave my team the perfect advantage to just get in, do the damage, and get out. And, like, he didn't even try to stop the res, so, I mean, come on. And this guy... I was missing my shots, he was missing his shots, it was funny. Shoot, please. See, when it gets to this point where I'm like going bullet for bullet, it gets weird. And he's actually not even a problem, we don't have to worry about him too much, because like he's not going to hurt anybody, but it's more of a thing of like trying to hit my shots because I'm missing them. You know what I mean? You can have some heals too. But we ended up getting the cash out and moved on to round two. And this is really where it happened. I don't know if they knew of our team or if they had a grudge against uh, the other enemy team, but we weren't contested this entire round. Windigo had the opportunity to destroy the entire church by himself without like a sledgehammer or C4 or anything. I, I still to this day don't know how he did that. Um, or like what he used, especially to get the destruction that he got, uh, but he did it. And the church was pretty much gone, it's split in half. And he had that opportunity because nobody was pushing us. And that bled into the second cash out, as well as round three. I'm not even gonna show round three. Round three, absolutely nothing happened. As you guys can see here, like I was AFK and then the last round, it was just a matter of them staggering each other. Uh, and again, it was like, we would get a pick, wait. Next guy comes up, get a pick, wait. And there wasn't really much to show for it. But uh, Windigo, you're a funny guy. You're just breaking everything the whole game. I hope you see this video and, and know that we appreciate <laughs> your, your odd play style and the beautiful fit. Now, after that win with Windigo, we only needed one more round. But in order to get at least one round, we had to play an entire tournament to do so. So for the first cash out, we didn't really get anything going, but we ended up getting four. And after a little bit of fighting uh, and healing up, because we definitely needed it, uh, we were able to get four closer to C. We just had to clean up these teams before we could put it into the cash out. After securing our part in C, I had a few things to say. The problem here is that the two cash outs have very different times. So there's a pretty good chance, especially in a lower elo, that team D that is there, as well as the team that they're fighting is also gonna come to C and all teams will be at C trying to get that last 15K, which is a problem, you know, obviously, right? And we could play on that building, like we definitely could do that but the problem is that i'm using the model so i have to pick close range fights 
And we have to preserve our life as much as possible, especially in a situation like this. And it's really just like a healing chain that we're doing. We're not even really like fighting too much. It's more of just trying to stay up, right? Just some of the things that go on in my brain while I'm playing, uh, I thought it was a cool thing to add in. Even if it's simple to some of you guys, others may not even think of it. So, exactly what I said ended up happening. All the teams tried coming over to see. Uh, one did end up getting the steal, but right now it wasn't really a problem stealing it back since they were all over the place and we were able to do enough damage to put them in that state. Uh, we stole it, we are able to hold it down. They did get a defib on the red team, but again, if you don't heal after defib, it does nothing. And that whole fight did nothing, and we are able to move on to the next round. Well, solid. 8-7 assists. Super solid support score. 8k is super solid. And now for my only clip that has audio. Nice little team wipe on the Kingfish, purple team. And by doing that, we're able to put it in B, and once again, nobody came to fight us. Fought one team, and that was it. There was just nothing else for us to do, and it happened again at Cash Out D. I don't know what is happening in these situations, and uh, my team is not the team to run and go and fight another team while we have a Cash Out, because it is risky, and it makes sense, and they're trying to rank up. But we actually did one fight and did nothing. We made it onto the next round and it was pretty simple. Grab a cash out, vault, put it into the cash out, and stand around looking pretty. Uh, this kept on happening, not really sure why. It, it was the same thing over and over. It was like teams weren't even coming to fight us. They were so stuck on the other ones. Once we got to the vault, we ended up getting a few fights, as you guys see here with the, uh, with the heavy from the Kingfish? Uh, I don't know what team that is. Purple team. Um, we're ready to get a res off, and although we did die here, uh, my teammates were able to clean up the rest, and we were in a much better position, which is the position of holding Vault 4. 4 to D, and for the majority of the time defending, there wasn't too much happening, but then we got jumped by uh, Orange team, and their light was able to take us out. Of course, some damage was done to us, but he was able to take us out either way. Instead of going for the cash out that was closest, we ended up going back to D, which was across the map, and after cleaning up the residuals from the previous fight, we are able to steal cash out D, and that put us in first place. However, there are two minutes left, and since we're bored and nobody was fighting us, we went for that 22 as well. We started third partying and we did get a few kills and because of that we were able to steal and now it's just a matter of holding down cash out A uh, while the others fight for the ultra rares cash out which is orange team. And that's exactly what happened. They came away too late and we we're able to move on to round three or the final round actually. <laughs> the rounds are going by so fast because nothing's happening. I lost count of which round we're on but final round. Yeah, don't really know what happened there. We got the kill though, so that was cool. What? Ended up taking it to cash out B. And again, this is final round, guys. Final round. There's only one cash out, and they took forever to show up. And I'm I'm thinking like, what's the thought process behind that? And their light player threw a vanishing bomb at me. Oh, and then this happened. Huh? Okay, it won't let me place it. It won't let me shoot at all. Okay, I actually can't shoot right now. For some reason, there's a weird bug in this game that sometimes makes it so my primary fire just doesn't work. Because uh, I can scope in, but I can't shoot or anything. And sometimes I have to switch to a gadget. Sometimes I have to switch to my specialization. Don't really know how it works, but yeah. 
We ended up uh, almost wiping the ultra rares and I was waiting camp and bodies to see when they would show up. But sadly, their medium was already able to uh, get up and coin. After that, they tried doing a push and it didn't really work well because again, they weren't playing as a team. So it was just 1v1s or rather 1v3s all the time. After that, their light kind of just ran around and threw stuff and he didn't really help and their heavy was building a Minecraft bridge and guys, this was super insane. Like, I don't know what was going on this final round. It's like they didn't want to win. Uh, we're able to win the tournament and with 20 kills and six deaths and 127 for our extracted uh, cash out, we finally were able to see our rank. Gold four. Gold four, I think, is a pretty solid start, right? No. And after closer consideration, I also think that gold four is a pretty solid start. So with the model, after our placement games, we made it to gold four, which is actually super solid in my opinion. And although we still have a lot of climbing to do to get to diamond, this is much better than if we were to rank any lower or in silver or something like that, because again, we're not playing with anyone, so it's really just randoms that we're having to rely on. And if we're getting gold randoms rather than silver randoms, you know, any advantage here is going to help us. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It actually took a lot more editing than I was expecting. I was like editing all day yesterday. And as you guys can see, I'm wearing something different today because it's a different day. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy it because, yeah, it does take a decent amount of editing, um, a little bit more than I was expecting, but I'm willing to do it. I just hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you share this with your friend, your dog, your cat, your frog. I'm trying to release these like once a week ish. So uh, if you do like that, turn on the notification bell if you're subscribed. And if not, you might as well. But um, I'll see you all in the next video in peace.